Hi, it's Emma Tibbins, the Relational Marketer, and um, today I just want to talk to you about a hmm, what I call a an, an issue that has been um, um, it's just not a pleasant experience for a lot of people, and that is to be added to a group that you didn't really authorize. And I am just you know really amazed and in awe that people actually would. Um, invite not even invite you to join a group but just add your name on a group and before you know it there's all these emails coming into your inbox and it's kind of short of annoying you know <laughs> I mean I don't mind being given a choice to add you know to be added to a group or to be invited into at being part of a group but to for my name to be added in it is um, I know it's upsetting to a lot of uh, a lot of you I guess I've had many conversations with a lot of you so I decided to create a video to help you um, uh, when you were accidentally or when you you are, are put in a group against your will, then you know what you can do, which is to leave the group. Or if you want to see what the group is all about, maybe there's a potential of something good happening in the group and you want to be part of that without being um, pestered by um, this, uh, you know, beeping emails and, and notifications, then um, I'll, I'll just want to, I'm, I'm here to teach you the simplest way to do that, okay? So if you go to your home setting, um, that's my news feed, but these are my groups right here. Um, and, and hello to my friends who are on this video. Oh, there's Candace and Manny, social Manny. Um, sorry if I'm using your feed right now. You're on my feed right now as we speak in real time. Uh, I want to show you the group, the public groups uh, that are um, I've been invited to. So most of the groups that you'll see here, of course, uh, I'm, I'm not going to jeopardize the group in, in, in the sense of courtesy. I'm not going to say, say that I don't like to be part of that group what, what, or whatnot. But uh, for the most part, I do like the groups that I'm in, although I don't really participate. I'm kind of just a looker. I, I, I see on what's going on to see whether I want to join the group. But there's just simply groups that are irrelevant to what I'm doing that it's a no-brainer. I just completely right away leave the group. So that's a four-hour body group that I'm part of. Of course, there's the marketer screws and um, um, the relationship age. This is our uh, book that we wrote with this amazing uh, co-authors. And oh, there's Jackie and my friends Carol and, and Angie right here. So let's just say that this is the group. I, mean, I love this group. Absolutely love this group. But let's just say that I decide to not be part of the group anymore then all I need to do is simply go right here on the right side and click leave the group and when I do that when you do that that means you're completely gone from the group then they cannot you know you won't be notified if anybody chimes in or chats or posts a link or what have you okay um, now the other thing is okay here's uh, here's uh, that MLM beat love 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 George Forey um, there's Yo Lee, Yo Lee, hey Yo, uh, and Rose. So right now, let's just say that I don't want to get notifications from any of these groups right now because I'm just way too busy and I can't afford a distraction and I can't really contribute to the group anyway, right? So here I am right now. Um, you have a choice to be notified when a member posts in your comments or a member posts. Um, or a friend post or only post I'm subscribed to okay now I right now I have it on completely off but from time to time if I want to chime in I would put only posts that I'm subscribed to which means that any post that I commented on or any post that I actually started um, and then you can do email notifications where what email you wanna uh, be notified or you can also show this group in home navigation sometimes always or never is put sometimes um, and you can choose never if it's really annoying for you and also you see the send me group chat messages I turn that off because like I said it's just too much information already between the blog subscription that I have um, between the webinars notifications between um, you know subscribers between uh, I mean it's just it's just overwhelming um, and then you can also, of course, turn off the email notifications and you can save the settings, all right? But generally, uh, right here, edit settings is where you, 
you email notifications. You don't want to be emailed any notification. So just unclick that and send me group chat messages. Unclick that and then save the settings. Okay. Unless of course you want a member, what, what you want to be notified, then you don't need to do anything because the default is that you will get notified. All right. So I hope that helps. And if you're planning, like I am, I'm planning on establishing a group myself, but it's definitely going to be a group where I will be inviting select people and I'll encourage them to invite others, but not necessarily add them right away into the group. I'll give them the opportunity to, to you know, get in there. Um, as it is, I don't even, I don't even tap into my Facebook friends and send them a blast message nor do I do it for my like page where I send them blast messages all the time because I really value um, their time. And uh, unless it's really, 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 really important, um, like a change in something that they need to know, then I really respect their privacy. I really respect that they gave me the trust to be their friend on Facebook, uh, whatever that means <laughs> for now. And um, so I respect them. And I hope that you understand that when you put people in a group without their permission, you're not really scoring points. You're not sc really scoring a lot of points, okay? And I guess you already know that and you're taking that risk for the sake of getting that message out to many people, okay? And it's just something that I, I don't really advocate. So anyway, I hope that helps. Again, you know, if you want to get out of the uh, group, just go to the right side, leave the group. If you are active, an active member of the group and with the permission of the admin, you can add friends to the group, okay? Unless it's a private group, respect the privacy of the admin of the group. Okay, so anyway, that's it. Um, hope you learned something. I'll catch you later.